Dinosaurs were amazing reptiles. They lived millions of years ago. They were all shapes and sizes. Some were huge and some were small. Dinosaurs roamed the Earth for a very long time. They ruled the land before humans existed. It's fascinating to learn about these prehistoric creatures. Imagine a world filled with giant reptiles. These incredible creatures varied greatly. Some dinosaurs were gentle giants munching on plants. Others were fierce predators hunting for their next meal. Their world was full of adventure and danger. Can you imagine hearing their roars echoing through the prehistoric forests? It's a world we can only explore through fossils and our imaginations. Dinosaurs were reptiles, but they were different from reptiles today. They had unique features that set them apart. Some had long necks, others had sharp teeth. Some even had armor-like skin for protection. Dinosaurs were truly remarkable creatures. They dominated the Earth for a significant period. Learning about dinosaurs is like stepping back in time. It's a journey into a world vastly different from our own. Through fossils, we can piece together the story of these incredible animals. We can learn about their lives, their habits, and their ultimate fate. Before we dive in, make sure to like and subscribe, as well as taking a look at our fossil and dinosaur products on our website at Starbeck Education. Dinosaurs lived in many different places. Some lived in thick forests, others lived on wide open plains. Some dinosaurs even lived in deserts. They adapted to all sorts of environments. Can you imagine dinosaurs roaming through a dense jungle? Forests provided shelter and food for many dinosaurs. The trees offered shade from the sun. Leaves and plants provided nourishment for the plant eaters. The forest floor was a busy place for dinosaurs. Many different species called it home. Plains were another common dinosaur habitat. These wide open spaces provided plenty of room to roam. Herds of plant-eating dinosaurs grazed on the grasses. Speedy predators chased after their prey. The plains were a dynamic environment. Coastal areas were also home to some dinosaurs. They might have hunted for fish in the shallow waters, or perhaps they searched for shellfish along the shore. The coast offered a unique habitat for these prehistoric creatures. Imagine a dinosaur wading in the ocean. There were two main types of dinosaurs. There were plant eaters called herbivores, and there were meat eaters called carnivores. Each type had special features to help them survive. Can you guess which type had sharp teeth? Herbivores were the gentle giants of the dinosaur world. They ate plants, leaves, and fruits. Many herbivores had long necks to reach high into the trees. They needed to eat a lot to fuel their large bodies. Some famous herbivores include Brachiosaurus and Triceratops. Carnivores were the hunters of the dinosaur world. They had sharp teeth and claws to catch their prey. They were often fast and agile. Some carnivores hunted alone, while others hunted in packs. The most famous carnivore is Tyrannosaurus rex. Some dinosaurs were omnivores, meaning they ate both plants and meat. They were adaptable and could find food in various environments. An example of an omnivore dinosaur is Oinosaurus. They were opportunistic eaters. Understanding the different types of dinosaurs helps us understand their world. Their diets and hunting habits shaped their interactions. It's a fascinating glimpse into the prehistoric ecosystem. Imagine the constant struggle for survival. Dinosaurs had special adaptations to help them survive. Some had long necks to reach high into the trees. Others had sharp teeth and claws for hunting. These adaptations helped them thrive in their environments. Can you think of other useful adaptations? Armored skin was a great defense against predators. Some dinosaurs had thick bony plates covering their bodies. This armor made it difficult for carnivores to bite through. Stegosaurus is a famous example of an armored dinosaur. Speed was another important adaptation. Fast dinosaurs could outrun predators. They could also chase down their prey more easily. Velociraptors were known for their speed and agility. They were formidable hunters. Camouflage helped some dinosaurs blend in with their surroundings. This made it easier for them to hide from predators. It also made it easier for them to sneak up on prey. Imagine a dinosaur perfectly camouflaged in a forest. These adaptations show how dinosaurs evolved to survive.
They developed unique features to thrive in their specific environments. It's a testament to the power of natural selection. Dinosaurs were truly remarkable creatures. Section 5. The Fossil Record Fossils are the remains of ancient plants and animals. They are preserved in rocks. Fossils help us learn about dinosaurs. They tell us what dinosaurs looked like and how they lived. Fossils are like clues from the past. Paleontologists are scientists who study fossils. They dig for fossils in the ground. They carefully clean and examine the fossils they find. They piece together the story of prehistoric life. It's like solving a giant puzzle. Fossil footprints can tell us how dinosaurs moved. We can learn if they walked on two legs or four. We can even estimate how fast they could run. Footprints are like snapshots of dinosaurs in action. Bones tell us about a dinosaur's size and shape. We can learn about their skeletons and muscles. We can even figure out what they ate. Bones are like a blueprint of a dinosaur's body. Section six, the extinction event. Dinosaurs lived on Earth for a very long time, but then they suddenly disappeared. Scientists believe an asteroid hit the Earth. This caused a massive extinction event. It wiped out the dinosaurs. The asteroid impact created a huge cloud of dust. This dust blocked out the sun. Plants couldn't grow without sunlight. Herbivores starved without plants to eat. Carnivores starved without herbivores to hunt. The impact also caused massive fires and earthquakes. It changed the Earth's climate dramatically. The dinosaurs couldn't adapt to these sudden changes. It was a catastrophic event. The extinction of the dinosaurs paved the way for the rise of mammals. Mammals eventually evolved into humans. So, in a way, we owe our existence to the extinction of the dinosaurs. It's a sobering thought. Dinosaurs ate different things depending on their type. Herbivores ate plants. Carnivores ate meat. Omnivores ate both plants and meat. Their diets shaped their lives and interactions. Can you guess what a T-Rex ate? Herbivores had special teeth for grinding plants. They often had long necks to reach high into the trees. They ate leaves, fruits, and other plant material. Some herbivores even swallowed stones to help grind up tough plants in their stomachs. Carnivores had sharp teeth for tearing meat. They also had sharp claws for catching and holding their prey. They hunted other dinosaurs as well as smaller animals. T-Rex was a fearsome predator. Omnivores had a more varied diet. They ate both plants and meat. They were opportunistic eaters, taking advantage of whatever food was available. This adaptability helped them survive in different environments. Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-Rex, is perhaps the most famous dinosaur. It was a large, fierce predator with sharp teeth. It roamed North America during the late Cretaceous period. It is a popular subject in movies and books. Brachiosaurus was a giant herbivore with a long neck. It could reach high into the trees to eat leaves. It was one of the largest dinosaurs ever discovered. Imagine seeing a Brachiosaurus in person. Triceratops had three horns on its face and a bony frill around its neck. It used its horns and frill for defense against predators. It was a herbivore that lived during the late Cretaceous period. Stegosaurus had plates along its back and spikes on its tail. The plates may have been used for display or for regulating body temperature. The spikes were definitely for defense against predators. Scientists believe that birds are descendants of dinosaurs. They share many similar features, such as bones and feathers. Some dinosaurs even had feathers. This suggests a close evolutionary link. Archaeopteryx is a fossil that shows the link between dinosaurs and birds. It had feathers like a bird, but teeth and a bony tail like a dinosaur. It is considered a transitional fossil. Birds inherited many traits from their dinosaur ancestors. Their hollow bones, for example, make them lightweight and allow for flight. Their feathered wings are another example of shared heritage. Studying this connection helps us understand the evolution of both dinosaurs and birds. It's a fascinating example of how life on Earth has changed over millions of years. The link between dinosaurs and birds continues to be an area of active research. Dinosaurs were amazing creatures that lived millions of years ago. They came in all shapes and sizes. They adapted to various environments. They ultimately met their end due to a catastrophic event. Learning about dinosaurs is a window into the past.
We can learn about dinosaurs through fossils. Fossils provide clues about their appearance, behavior, and extinction. They help us piece together the story of prehistoric life. It's a fascinating journey of discovery. Dinosaurs continue to capture our imaginations. They are the subject of countless books, movies, and museum exhibits. They remind us of the incredible diversity of life on Earth. Their legacy continues to inspire awe and wonder. By studying dinosaurs, we can appreciate the long history of life on our planet. We can learn about evolution and the forces that shape the natural world. It's a journey through time that never gets old.